What is up you guys, we're back here at the Flip House for the first time in a couple weeks. And if you guys don't know, we're trying to renovate this whole place into a rental property for only $20 out of pocket. And up until now, we have been successful. A couple weeks ago, we ordered all new windows and a new sliding glass door for this area right here. The good news is that all that has arrived at the warehouse and is ready to be picked up. The bad news is that I went ahead and scheduled the installation of all this stuff without having enough money in the flip house budget right now. So that's how much money we have at the moment. Let's go over a couple things we sold on eBay and whatnot since that number was last updated to show you guys where we are right now. So we're gonna start with the eBay items and all of these items, the buyer also paid shipping on top of this price, just so you know, going forward. This coach bag sold for $48. This figment Disney puppet sold for $189.99. Tailor-made golf shoe bag sold for $11. Alien Sandwich sold for $15. Skechers Golf Shoes sold for $18. Adidas Running Shoes sold for $29. Set of three Callaway Clubs sold for $79. This English Factory Dress, we've had this listed for like four or five months, finally sold for $15. Some Merrill Moab Hiking shoes sold for $35. Miller Lite beer top handle sold for $15. Men's Under Armour shirt sold for $26. And finally, this small Kirby plush stuffed animal sold for $9. After all eBay fees and shipping and everything like that, that leaves us with about $420 in eBay sales. So here's where it gets a little bit interesting. If you guys remember, about a month ago, we went to the flea market and made a video where we bought just over 200 t-shirts from our friend DJ. And we spent a total of $700 in that video, but I didn't say that that t-shirt deal was part of the house budget, but I'm going to retroactively make that deal part of the house budget because we need the income. So we got to take $700 out of the budget now, but the good news is that we have already sold all 205 of those t-shirts over on Whatnot. It did take us four total Whatnot auctions to sell everything because it actually ended up being 215 shirts altogether. In one show, we sold 45 shirts for $495.57 after fees. Another was 48 shirts for $696.49 after fees. Another was 30 shirts for $306.33 after fees. And finally, 92 shirts for $845.91 after fees. So our total for all four t-shirt whatnot auctions comes to $2,344.30. We also did one more whatnot show just with a mixture and amalgam of items that we've picked up. Recently, the time Haley went to the bins by herself and that big purse haul we did recently. So a lot of purses, some plush, some clothing, random items, total of 59 items altogether in this last show. And after fees, we made $882.98. So if I did the math correctly, we should have $5,528.18 in the budget, but we did have to go pay for the windows and doors that showed up this week. So that was $3,885.68 for the windows and the door was $995 dollars and 15 cents, which brings us all the way back down to $647 and 35 cents. And where I messed up is that I went ahead and scheduled the installation of all this stuff without having the money. So the installation is $250 per window and the door is $1,000. We have 10 windows, which means we need $3,500 for installation, but we only have $647 and 35 cents, which means we have four days to come up with $2,852.65. So all things considered, it looks like we have about four days to try to come up with a little over $2,800 to pay for this window installation. And even with the Goodwill bins and, and whatnot and stuff, that's still a very, very tall order. So I may have put us in a tight situation, but it should at least be an interesting video. So I think we should go ahead, head to the Goodwill bins. Yes, immediately. And see what we can find. Helps me, sorry. Let's see if we find any plush today. The Wiggles. I used to watch this, 2004. I don't know what that is, but we'll grab it. It's um, My Little Pony. Squishmallow, I'm definitely grabbing that. Ooh, and a Dooney and Burn. Let's see in a second if that's real. Look, Evie. And a big Olaf. Got a little Hey Hey plush. A monster truck, yeah. Pro Loco. I can lot those two together. We're able to get a lot of the plush that may not be worth a ton of money because it's basically buy one for a dollar and then get as many as you want for free. Oh, that's a almost do that back. It's a circus one, British on Earth. Ringley Brothers, they don't have this anymore. That's a good one. 
Always gonna make sure only at Toys R Us. What's up, man? You're gonna flea market tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe. Should we? You gonna be there? Yeah, tomorrow. You got anything good? Nope. <laughs> uh, at least he's honest. Got an Olaf. Again, stuff like this Olaf and this little Thai Panda, they're not worth a ton of money, but we're getting an entire bag for a dollar. So even if we sell this for like three bucks, it's almost all profit. We've got three more plushes back here. We got a big old hamster. He's cute. We got another golden retriever. That was actually really nice. And we have this little doggy here. He's on a Build-A-Bear. Builder attack, and he's smaller than a typical builder bear, so that might actually be interesting. Just found a pair of Nike shorts. Nothing great, but use a couple bucks for that. Disney. That's a little turtle guy. Yeah. Rebecca Minkoff. That's a pretty decent brand. Yeah, that's cool. Got a little Oakley backpack. I don't see any issues so far. Let me grab it. Got some interesting stuff over here. A speed prep one-handed mandolin slicer. It's new in the box. Originally 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll think about that. Nice backpack here. Nike Elite backpack. All the zippers work on it. It's got a couple little scuffs. Little marks and some gunk on it right there, but I'll definitely get that. Got three more plush out of this bin. Two Care Bears and a little... Uh, the Sonic or not Sonic. I don't know if it's Knuckles or whatever, but some sort of Sonic thing. We got the Arnold Palmer golf set. Is he in here? I think Arnold might be at the bottom here. I think this might be new. Yeah, it's got the balls in there. It's got Arnold. I don't know how much this is actually worth, but I know, I know it sells. So I'm gonna get it. A little lucky bear over here. Build a bear, lucky bear. Saw this one right over here, and I was like, "Oh, it's an ultra, like boot." And then saw the other one back here. I don't know why nobody else has grabbed these yet. Somebody's name is on there, so I can't tell what size it is. They're in good shape. There's no holes. There's no rips. There's no peeling. These are the Ultra Lone Peak Women's Eleven. This is a Harry Potter magical staff. It's on the Gildan. That's pretty cool. I think someone made that, but I'm gonna grab it. This is cool. I just saw this tag L.O. Bean, 100% virgin wool. So probably vintage. The zipper works. I'm gonna grab it. I just found this keen. And the other one was over here. It's like a keen steel toe women's work boot. Oh, here it is. Yeah, keen steel toe, steel toe work boot. A little worn, but I still think it's worth picking up. I just got this pair of Timberland Pro boots. Well, I'll say fair, I've got one of them. Hopefully this is pretty easy to find since it's so big. It goes right here. Got two pairs. Do the bend test, make sure there's no cracking in the sole. They look to be in great shape. Hit them with a little bit of leather conditioner. I think they are missing the insoles. That's not a, it's not a big deal. Size 13. These will probably do pretty well. Come back over here, got another plush. This is a Nala. Disney Nala, Disney store tag. Yeah, grab that. Over here in the clothes, I got this pretty cool leather jacket. The brand is Charles Klein. Size medium, it is genuine leather, so it's still on the tag there. It's kind of got like that nice faded look to it, like a nice supple, like Indiana Jones style jacket. It's a leather bomber jacket. Probably not worth a ton of money, but we could probably get it for about maybe four or five dollars here today. I think it'll be worth it. Got a little frog over here. He's a little dirty, but it's one of those flip -a so it's a frog on one side and then and it's a hippopotamus. They're a little dirty, but should be able to just toss them in the wash. And, Doing pretty clean. She likes the Under Armour jacket. We'll grab that. Also have this Nike hoodie over here. It's a full zip. Let's make sure the zipper works. Yeah. 
zipper's in good shape. The only issue is that there's, I don't even know if you can see it, there's a little like, it looks like a knife or something tried to cut this way and like got the first layer. It doesn't go all the way through, but it's like a little right there. But size extra large. I don't see any other issues with it, so I'll probably go ahead and grab this. Haley and I are moving stuff from our bags to the, the plush bag. She's got an Eevee over here. It feels like there's... When I dropped it, I thought there was a sound. I thought it was one of the ones that talks, but maybe not. So an Eevee Build-A-Bear, that's always really good. This chick. Oh yeah, the fur reel. No, that's a Build-A-Bear. I don't know what that is. Also found this dog. I feel like it's, um, it's popular, but I don't know what kind it is. The guns world's cutest dogs so put it there this is from the wiggles i used to watch the wiggles but this uh, is 2004 i have no idea what that is but we're gonna get it okay what do you think about this there's stitching coming off the front i don't know i thought the duck was a little off but the stitching's nice it's actually sewn on there it's not glued the overall quality like if it was fake like this little tiny leather strap here would be like all fraying. That's like yeah, super solid. Yeah, that's what solid. I was thinking too. Like the all the straps are good. It's got the serial number on the inside. So yeah, I don't know, maybe it is real. Okay, I'll get it. We spent a total of sixty-five dollars and twenty-six cents at Goodwill today. So fast forward a couple hours, I brought all the plush in here because I need to take them to the laundry room and get a lot of them washed. We had a couple that had a couple stains that should come out. Moses doing his new goods inspecting, trying to find one for personal use. I guess there's too many choices. He can't pick one. We dropped off all the other hard goods, like the backpacks and stuff, in the warehouse this afternoon. Kim's going to get all that stuff listed on a whatnot auction tomorrow morning. We're going to get all these washed tonight and then hopefully do a big whatnot auction tomorrow afternoon with all the stuff we got at the bins today. Obviously, that won't be enough to get us to our goal of just over $2,800, whatever, whatever our goal is from earlier in the video, but I think that'll be a good first step towards that goal. We got the laundry started, and obviously with all the stuff we have going on today, we didn't have a chance to go to the grocery store to get something for dinner, which is perfect, because that leads me into the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. So obviously the biggest benefit to HelloFresh is the convenience of having all these ingredients for all these meals sent straight to your door every single week. We got the crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. How about that? Oops. I also really like that HelloFresh lets us try out all these different recipes without having to go to the grocery store and buying all the individual ingredients. For instance, if we wanted to do like an Indian chicken dinner one night, we don't have to go buy curry and yogurt and all that different stuff. We can just order it on HelloFresh for the week and then everything's sent right to us. It's just a very economic way to try out new recipes without having to fully commit to a kitchen full of ingredients. They also have different meal options for pretty much any diet you could possibly be on. They've got vegetarian, vegan, paleo, keto, whatever you're doing, they've got something for you. And you definitely don't have to be a chef to cook all this stuff. They send you these little cards with each recipe that shows you what all goes into it in terms of ingredients and a step-by-step -step cooking guide on the back. Some of them are easier than others. This one's moderate. I think it's like 35 minutes of cook time for a meal for two people. So not too bad. I think my favorite thing about this recipe is this topping for the chicken. It's like panko breadcrumbs, Monterey Jack cheese, Frank's red hot seasoning, some salt and pepper, and you just like mix it up and then dump it on top of the chicken when you put it in the oven and it comes out like a nice cheesy crispy crust. It's very, very good. If you guys want to help support our YouTube channel and see if HelloFresh is a good fit for your family, you can head to HelloFresh.com and use code 50TORNADO at checkout to save 50% off your order plus free shipping. That's 50% off your order plus free shipping. Put it on top of that like that and there you go folks. We've got the whatever it was, the crispy, crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. I'm telling you, this top right here, mm, banging. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. So it's the next day we're back at the Goodwill outlet because obviously we're not gonna make 2,800 and something dollars from all the stuff we got yesterday, but we do have our whatnot auction set up for three o'clock this afternoon. So hopefully once that's done, we'll have a better idea of how much we need uh, to find today and I guess tomorrow because we'll probably have to do three total bin strips yeah. in this video. I'm busy today since it's half price day. Hopefully we can still find some stuff. Oh, it's another one of those Ringling Brothers plush. Ringling Brothers monkey. Oh yeah, here we go. This is my kind of bin right here. Look at my man Patrick over here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Man, 
and the otter. Very cute. Oh, that's a Disney otter. They got a pop of Smurf. I'm gonna get a bigger bag, folks. Noodle lunch, shrimp noodle lunch. What the heck is this? I'm gonna flip them all out. Woody. Simba. Squishmallow dog with a little bandana on. Very cute. What the heck is this? Guess I'll get that one. Oh, these connect together. There's like magnets in them. Baby Yoda. Grab him. Avocado. Squishable avocado. Is it Oh. Are you getting that? Nope. I'll take it. Take it. Too big for me. Oh, there's the other P. Three P's. Toothless. You don't want that one, I'll take that one too. Tiger tail. You gonna take that one? I think I'll get this one. All right. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind watching this for one second? I just gotta go get a bag. You got it, man. Thank you so much. One Ikea bag. It's not enough today. Grab one of those for me. Thank you so much. Two dollars. I'll pay you when I check out. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm gonna grab that just because of the pattern. There's an Adidas bag. Like that. Little Kabu. Needs a washing. I'm gonna grab that. There's a polo tag. Or polo tie. I'm definitely grabbing that. Hogwarts bag, Hogwarts lunchbox, it's cute. It's in a dust bag. Okay. Whatever that brand is, toss it in here for now. Little ninja turtle. A big squish baller. Needs some cleaning. But I'm gonna grab him. You got any flush? Oh, you. Oh my goodness. You hit the gas Yeah. This has been a very good flush day. Cold breaker? Yeah, he's 100% wool. I don't huh. know what he is. He kind of looks like one of those sheep on the commercials, right? Yeah, from the Serta mattresses or yeah. whatever. Interesting. This Jansport backpack is kind of cool. Did you see this? No. Yeah, that's awesome. I think I might have to like check out and get the plush you and might. just take it to the car. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, so I guess you go check out yeah, and then... I'll just take all the plush, check out, take those to the car and come back. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and check out for these two. Right here. It's all plush. All right. Two, three, four, and five. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. One dollar. If this deal isn't the craziest deal in the history of all Goodwills across the land, I don't know what is. One dollar for these two giant bags of plush? It just doesn't get any better than that, man. Found another Kabu, you guys. It's a Kabu day. That one's a cool little pattern, for sure. Cute little Disney hat for girls. Ooh, what is this? Oh, Star Wars. Oh, look at that. Is this Spyro? Or Skylanders? Yeah, grab him. It's actually pretty nice. This is a Targus City Gear 3. Like a laptop rolling messenger bag type dealio. It's actually probably pretty good. This little bag, I think this is all Dyson. Dyson attachments, oh, look at that. The lid's missing, but it's one of these penguin ice buckets. Oh, they're really corroded too. This thing Commonwealth Picker and a couple other pick people pick those up. I think those are usually do pretty well. 
Yeah, this is a bunch of bicep attachments. I'm gonna grab these. Some of these can be really good. Are you putting this stuff back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> don't wanna, some people make piles no, in the way. Well, I'm. Yeah, I've got it right here between my feet. Okay. <laughs> I see her in Milwaukee. What didn't you like about this one? Just because it had milk, I didn't know if it would sell yeah. because of that. But it's a really nice bag. Yeah. I mean, and, it, and that was kind of worn, but. Yeah. I think. I don't you know. probably could get 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, I think Milwaukee's okay. I'm gonna take a chance on it. <laughs> I'll let you know how it does. Okay. Just found this little troll guy. It says 1965 on a split. That's really cool. Just found this Canon carrying case, like for like a some kind of big camera. $2.99. They tried to charge $2.99 for it. Gonna get it here for like a dollar. Alright, so I found this thing. It's very soft. It is 100 percent new merino wool dry clean i don't know what it is there's a tag that says original aranco but it just feels i mean it almost looks like a rug but i'm sure you wouldn't have a merino wool rug i want to get it somebody will know what it is over here in the shoes they are very mixed up today but i am finding some cool ones this is a pair of shimano boa cycling cleats but of course i only have one this is the type of thing that other people would would walk by so i feel I'm gonna grab these through some Sperry flip flops. Sperry is not a very great brand, but we could probably get these for about a dollar. Probably get maybe like eight bucks for them, I assume. But I would like to find this other cycling cleat. These are probably pretty nice. Got the other Hey Dude right here. They're a little worn, but these are still worth about 20 bucks pretty easily. I also found this pair of Skechers like winter boots. Those are pretty nice, like an UGG of type deal. I also found one singular Vionic. We'll add that to the list of shoes we're looking for. Did I put this in here? Yes! Yes! Found the other one. Oh, this is a good brand. Merinos. They're they're very similar to Allbirds. Like I thought they were Allbirds when I first found them, but Merinos. M-E-R-I-N-O-S. I think the last pair we sold of these sold for like 30 bucks. So those are good. And here's the other sketcher boot. I found two pairs of these sketchers boots, one brown and one black great condition too this should do pretty well Am I yeah. i'm just looking for, i think that might be my boot right here okay. that's it that's it yeah look at it it's hard to find matches in here <laughs> absolutely yeah thank you are you looking for anything sandals this is flashy <laughs> all right that's all i'm looking for the other make i'll be on the lookout for that one for you i'm gonna grab these they, they feel really nice never heard of the brand before dunham they're in good shape sorry in here i found one more the dyson attachments to add to our little pile in here somewhere and i got a couple more plush this little ray plush she's pretty tiny but she has new attacks from hallmark special edition and another golden retriever from me and meoni meoni by aurora pretty cute this is actually kind of cool it's a cookie monster or sesame street cookie cutter kit from wilton this is from 1987 still sealed or 1988 sorry still sealed in there I think that's really cool. Wilton cake pans can sometimes do pretty well. I think we sold a Jeep Wrangler shaped one for like 40 bucks one time. Most of them aren't worth anything, but this will probably cost about 25 cents. I think somebody would want that. Nike Pro Combat compression shirt. It's a cool little pick. I picked this up. I just thought it was like a tank top, like Adidas simple tank top, but it's actually like a full body suit with like shorts. I don't know if it's like swimwear or if it's just a bodysuit, but that's kind of cool, unique. I think we are about ready. There's just a lot of people here. We've been here for like an hour, which is pretty good. I did find two more things. I got this pair of um, Mickey Mouse shorts. They're Disney Costco collab. Very soft, like pajama shorts. And I'm also gonna get this pair of shorts too. This, the brand is just Anna, which is not a good brand, but I think they're cute. Lot them together. Lot them together, sure. Same size? Um, yeah, they're the same size. Maybe lot them together. Yeah. We got all this stuff today for a total of forty dollars and forty cents again we have to add a dollar to that for the plush Just the other the two bags. bags of plush that we got uh but it was a killer killer day 
So fast forward a little bit, we've got about five minutes left until our first whatnot auction of this video. Also, this thing that I showed you guys yesterday, this Arnold Palmer golf thing, I didn't show you how it works. Basically, you have a little guy on the end and you put the little sticks in his arm and then you hold it like a golf club, but you can like make him swing and it comes with a little fairway and a little green and little balls and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. I think it kind of got some viral attention during COVID because people were playing with it. Uh, it's not worth a ton of money, probably like 20 bucks, but we're going to throw it in today's whatnot auction, see what happens. We have all this stuff from yesterday's bin trip that we're going to try to sell today. Also, I was going through some stuff that we got today at the Goodwill Bins, the second Goodwill Bins trip of this trip, uh, this video, and we found this little troll guy. Haley found this troll guy. It's Damn Things 1965. I can't find one exactly like it, but there are similar ones on eBay that have sold for as much as $500. So I don't know for sure if this is worth 500, but I literally have Googled, I've eBay searched, I've used Terapeak. I cannot find another one available or that sold in the last two years. I think that's how far Terapeak goes back. So I have no idea how much this one's worth, but similar ones are selling again, the high as 500, as low as like 150. So either way you look at it, I think this was a killer find by Haley. Definitely probably one of the coolest things you've ever found. We're not going to put this on whatnot. <laughs> I don't think no. that's the appropriate marketplace, but uh, a cool find nonetheless. So it's the very next day. We're on the way back to the Goodwill Bins again for the third time in today's video. Last night's auction did go pretty well, I, th I think. I mean, we didn't sell anything for crazy amounts of money. All the plush probably went for like, what would you say, like eight, eight, eight bucks? Eight to $10, which is really great for us because we have such a low buy cost. Like we yeah. literally can get an entire bag. We're probably spending like a couple cents per plush, which is awesome. We did have the most valuable thing in our in our show yesterday yeah. was the Timberland Pro Boots with like the steel toe and everything. And those actually went for five dollars that was so, our most valuable item and it was our lowest selling yeah. item so, so you really never know on what yeah you never know. in the trash to cash podcast this week they talked about how whatnot is really meant for like items that strike an emotion with the buyer like mm -hmm. whether it be nostalgia or excitement or like mm -hmm. oh that's just a cool thing i don't know yeah. what it's worth but i'll pay five bucks yeah. for it and we just do really well with stuff like plush because it strikes an emotion in people whereas if you got Little, I mean, that pair of, Timberland, pair of Timberland boots would probably sell for about $50 to $70 on eBay. And we had 250 people in that show and nobody wanted to bid more than $5. Which, I mean, that's fine, but that just pr proves that like, whatnot really isn't about the value of the item. It's about the emotion that that item brings forward. Yeah. So we're gonna head back to the bins today, maybe get some more plush, maybe try to get some other items. We sold, I think yesterday, in yesterday's bins haul, we got a lot of cool things that weren't plush. We're gonna sell those in a whatnot auction tomorrow. Um, we'll probably have to do two whatnot auctions tomorrow. One with yeah. the stuff we got yesterday and another one later on that night with stuff we get today. Yeah. Kind of nervous, but also kind of excited. So stick around. I will add that we did have some leftover purses from our recent purse haul That's at right. the Goodwill Bins. Mm -hmm. So we added those because they were part of the house budget. We added those to last night's auction. So altogether, we made a grand total of $745 in gross revenue. Uh, and Kim is coming over today to ship all that stuff. So we won't know the total net revenue until she does that, but probably around 600 bucks or so is what we netted in yesterday's show which I don't know if we do that three times that's only eighteen hundred dollars we're still a thousand dollars short so I don't know kind of nervous so what we find today Let's see a squishmallow here I'm gonna grab that a boba tea Look over here oh man he's in really bad condition this is a Tom Nook plush Stuff they tried to sell on shopgoodwill.com. They just never sold. Let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Shop Goodwill. We got some. I don't know what that is. Sonoma. Oh, these are Funko Pops. Those should do pretty good. Loose Funko Pop, but still. What is this little Minnie Mouse? Play school mini mouse we'll get that see some star wars down here star wars coffee mug have that 32 degree boots look at that little jacket little star wars plush guy
greedy pinball. Gonna be a little tough to ship. We got some Legos in here. Figures. And all those. Bagaline, RFID protection. Little wallet. That's cool. A sack, that's a nice brand. Oh, here we go. Yeah, can we grab that? Another wallet. <laughs> There's a lot of these leather jackets here today, and they're not like anything crazy. I mean, Banana Republic suede leather might be okay. We had one yesterday uh, that we sold in our whatnot auction. The one that was like Indiana Jones style, and that one sold for like six dollars, which is probably about what we paid for it. So I don't know. I mean, some of them are cool, but I don't think it's the right thing to sell and whatnot. I got this one right here. I don't know that logo, but I'm pretty sure this is either eel or shark skin. How was that? Oh yeah, a little one of those little quarters. You don't want it? No. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Pretty good. This is definitely something. It does have a little rip. Oh, and the zipper is all the way broken. That was unfortunate. I think I'm gonna get this. I'll just figure it out later. Got some else right here. These all birds. Like they're still together too. Treads go on the bottom. Uppers look to be in good shape. These are like the chucka style, the high high ankle. Women's eight. Those are awesome. Yeah. I've been digging through all these bags for a couple minutes. I found a couple interesting things here and there, but nothing good enough to get until I found this purse. I don't know. It seems to be like fairly high quality. It does feel like 100% leather. The brand is called uh, Elliot Luca. Elliot Luca. Oh, here's the tag. Body 100% leather. So it is leather. It's pink. That kind of like a rose pink. All the zippers work well. I think I'll grab that. I have this North Face backpack right here. It's the Recon something. It's in pretty good shape overall. It's like a little, little stain right there. Overall a little dirty. These you can actually just throw them in the washing machine and they usually come out pretty good. And they don't have to be perfect because people use them for school, but people also use them to go like hiking and weekend trips and stuff. So as long as all the zippers work, there's no like holes or anything, I'll probably go ahead and grab this. These retail for really high, you know, probably like 80 to 100 bucks, but resale markets for like 25, 20, 25. What's that? Lip gloss. Yeah, everything works. It's been pretty decent shape. I'll grab this. It'll probably cost us about $4, I assume. And I think we can pretty easily get about 20, maybe 25. Let's grab this okay, so right here. Are they good? They look good so far. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with them. They're a little small. I think they're men's eight. I'll definitely get those though. I got this pair of vans down here too. These are neat. This must be the Ultra Kush model or the Ultra Range. Yeah, Ultra Range. Yeah, those are nice. A little worn, but still worth grabbing. So this is My Little Pony, Build a Bear. Let's add that to our flesh here. Do a tag muck block socks. These are really nice socks. I'm definitely going to get these. Just found this beer, Bradley. Older style, but it's like a cute little like weekender bag type thing. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I just found this sparkly reindeer build a bear. Grab that. Looks like we've got a bunch of hats over here. So probably this bin was filled with hats. Then as people have dug through, they threw them over here. So I'll dig through these leftovers and see if there's anything interesting. There's a Ryder Cup hat. The Ryder Cup's actually coming up. Slasinger, 2004, almost vintage. This is a front sight. I think it's a gun, gun hat. I think Auto makes gun stuff. I don't know, I'll grab that. This is kind of cool here. Adidas tree foil belt. Looks, definitely looks old. Not too old, because it's got a little QR code on there, but it's 
pretty nice. It's a cool hat right here, a little Ruger. Ruger gun hat. Yeah, I'll definitely grab that one. I also got this little Mickey Mouse visor. There we go. Got another belt here. I actually don't have my phone with me today. I left it at the house. We were leaving kind of a hurry, but this feels really nice. The brand looks like it says W. Kleinberg. I don't know, it just like it looks fairly intricate there. So I think I'm gonna take a chance on this. Worst case scenario, it's my size, 34. So I'm gonna keep it for myself, but that might actually be pretty good. I couldn't find any comps for this belt on eBay, but I Googled the brand and I found their website and I found that their belts sell for like $200 a piece, which is extremely expensive in my opinion. I have no idea how much we can get for it, but still a cool find. It's kind of have here, Vortex. I think this is another gun brand, but I could be wrong on that. But either way, it looks, looks pretty cool. Go ahead and grab it. I mean, uh, Dion just led me some Beanie Babies up here. We got the official club, 2000 TY Beanie Baby, and this little little Debbie, <laughs> this little Debbie doll. I don't know, I originally told him no. I'm like, I don't really think I'm interested in that, but little Debbie, she is um, the matriarch of our generation. So I think I'm actually gonna get her. We got this sheet right here, Small Soldiers. It's a twin size. I don't see a date anywhere, but this is definitely from the 90s because that's when the movie came out. Looks to be in really good shape. I don't think anybody would want it as a sheet, but somebody could maybe use the fabric to make a cool t-shirt or hat or something. A pair of pants, overalls, who knows? It looks like you found equal things to me though. We both have one yeah, one I bag. Have, like a couple large flush. They're taking up a good, yeah. good amount of room. But. Okay. This one has Lily baby carriers again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that one has seahorses on it all over it, so I figure it's a good pattern and everything. Yeah, I like that. All right. Maybe we make one more trip down one more row and then we'll go check out. Let's look at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, Dooney and Burke. Yeah. It was on shopgoodwill.com. It was. They couldn't sell it. But they probably wanted like $300 for it. What do you think? Well, there's some stitching going on stitching there. Stitching coming out. There's, oh. some, there's a lot of wear to it. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't sell. Yeah. It's in pretty bad condition. Yeah. Well, I mean, I saw it and it was like this. And I just yeah. saw the DB and I threw it in for later. So. Yeah. I think it's I think it's too far gone. Hmm, we got this right here. It's one of those baseball bags. It's a little dirty, but STX, that's a good brand. I think it's got some baseballs in here. Oh lacrosse. Maybe it is a lacrosse bag. STX is a lacrosse lacrosse brand. It's got some gloves. I think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna offer slip ons. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get this bag. This is a little cross bag. Okay. The only thing I found over here is this little field and stream canvas tote bag. Nothing too fancy here. I might actually use it. Haley and I are going to Atlanta this weekend for a concert. I just need something small like this to throw like one night some clothes in. What'd you find? I have these, which are just VOCs, but I thought they were like just yeah, unique cool. sandals. And then these are also really unique. These are Merrells. Merrells, huh? Yeah. They have like this like never seen carpet like, that like yeah material on them and they feel like leather yeah hmm. yeah they're definitely worth something just found this rockstar energy drink t-shirt pretty cool i've only had a rockstar once in my life and it's not my favorite energy drink size large double stitch i don't see any issues with it i think that's pretty cool it's got a little graphic on the back too rockstar energy i saw this and i was like oh it's like a winnie the pooh knockoff you know so it doesn't look exactly like him it's on a gun tag but it's gunned and Disney collab. And the other side says classic poo. So it's a gunned version of Winnie the Pooh. Little bee on his belly. Pretty cute. Our total for round three at the Goodwill Bins was 74.90 something. I just went ahead and rounded up to 75 bucks. So later on this evening, we did our second whatnot auction with the stuff from the second Goodwill Bins trip that you guys saw earlier on in the video and it went over really well. We actually cross posted our whatnot stream to YouTube to give people an opportunity to see what a whatnot stream is like without having to sign up for the app. And people really liked it. We had four or 500 people watching live on YouTube. We had a bunch of new referrals, people that actually scanned the QR code on the screen and got their $15 in free credit, came over to whatnot and made their first purchase. So that went over super well. We'll definitely do that in the future. And the auction itself went over without a hitch. We had $1,127 in gross revenue between 63 orders. Uh, we did do a couple giveaways and we've got to ship everything to see exactly what we'll make after fees, but it should come out to about $979.57 that when you add that to the house budget, that makes the new house budget $2,082.06. 
So I know today's video has been a little on the longer side. I think we're getting up to like 35 to 40 minutes around here. But if you guys are still watching, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, definitely go ahead and subscribe because you've been here for 35 minutes. Obviously, you're having a good time. It has all come down to this moment, you guys. We've got one final batch of inventory, everything in the wagon, everything on the ground here. And we've got one final whatnot auction to get it all sold and we've got to make at least seven hundred and seventy dollars and fifty nine cents in net profit from this last whatnot auction to hit our goal of having enough money to pay for these windows and doors because if we don't have enough money we'll have to pay out of pocket and it will truly ruin the integrity of this twenty dollar house flip challenge that we've been working on for like eight months now So we just wrapped up the final whatnot show of this series. I'm telling you guys, we were cutting it pretty close here. I figured I'd scroll through the list just to give you an idea of what some of these items were selling for. We sold a Stormtrooper plush for $14. It was really good there. Little Ninja Turtle figure for eight bucks. Transformers figure for two bucks. The a lot of nine Dyson parts actually went for $22, which I was pretty happy with that. I mean, it's a great price for us. Plenty of profit there. And I think there's some room for some, some meat left on the bone for Florida Baby Nurse to flip those on eBay if she wants to. Uh, we sold a little Puffin gear head strap thing for six bucks, a little Minnie Mouse for $11. A lot of lower dollar sales. We had a pretty nice sale here, $38 for this red leather wallet from the sack. That was really great. Uh, another good sale was this belt. I don't know where it is on the list, but it was the W. Kleinberg or whatever that I showed you guys earlier that was selling for like $200. That one actually went, oh, this one right here, it went for $40, which is really great. That's still a killer deal for the buyer, but a really nice profit for us. The little Elliot Luca pink purse went for $27. Little Debbie figurine porcelain doll went for $11. Kate Spade eyeglass case went for $17. So as these sales were coming in, I was like, okay, that's a good sale. That's a good sale. I think we might actually hit our profit goal of being able to make enough money to pay for all these windows. The eel skin bag right here sold for $23, even with a broken zipper. That was awesome. As you guys can see, just like the rest of our whatnot auctions, some things sell for a few bucks, some things sell really well. It really just depends on who comes to your show and what they're interested in and if there's anybody that's competing with them for that same item but all things considered we sold 59 items for a total gross revenue of 830 dollars we do have to take out what not selling fees which is eight percent 2.9 percent for a payment processing fee as well as 30 cents per transaction and when we do all that we are left with a total net profit from this whatnot show of 721 dollars and 53 cents which brings our new total for the house flip to two thousand eight hundred three dollars and 59 cents so i know at first glance it may seem like we have failed the challenge we sold everything and we're still like 48 dollars and some change short but you also have to remember that we also sell over on ebay and over the last 96 hours we've actually sold four things that were part of the house flip budget i'm not sure if it's going to be enough to get us there but it's going to be pretty darn close so first we sold this pelican hard case i picked this up at a garage sale maybe a month ago that one sold for $19.18 after fees and shipping we sold this gymshark t-shirt that one netted us $6.51 we sold this tailor-made golf club from a recent flea market buyout for $14.39 after fees and we sold this three iron from that same golf club buyout and that one netted us $8.84 after fees so just in case you don't have your abacus handy that brings us to a new house budget total of two thousand eight hundred fifty two dollars and 51 cents we're literally 14 cents short of our goal we do still have this really cool troll doll that we haven't sold yet because i want to get it listed on ebay and wait for the right buyer to come along i could easily sell it on whatnot right now for you know 15 20 bucks or something and make the money and hit our goal but i just think waiting for the right buyer for this to possibly get maybe 150 to $200 for it will be worth losing out on this challenge today. And you wanna know what the funniest thing about this entire challenge is? I came over to the flip house today to pay the guy because he was supposed to finish the window insulation today and take final payment and be done. But when I came over here, I noticed that all the old windows are still, are still installed. He did do a little bit of work. He did replace these two windows over here, that one and, and this one over here. It's looking very nice, very clean much better he also replaced this one in the bathroom this was the only one that was actually broken so this one's looking really nice i also like how he didn't like mess up all the old drywall i mean there's a couple little chippy spots right there but we actually don't have to replace all this we can just kind of touch it up a little bit so that's looking nice and then i think he did one of these yeah he replaced that one still got that one to go so not quite 
halfway done. He's, I don't know where he is. He's not at the house right now. I'm gonna call him and see, uh, see what he's gotta say. He does have the windows here uh, to be installed, so that's a good sign. <laughs> all right so the window guy didn't answer the phone so obviously he's not going to be done today so we get a little bit of extra time to hit our goal which actually comes in super handy because after i just finished editing this video that's like 45 minutes long i realized that we're not 14 cents short of our goal we're like 640 dollars short of our goal i had it in my mind that we had to make 2800 and whatever dollars but we started with 647 or whatever he did so the goal was actually 3500 for the whole video our goal was 3500 dollars not 2800 so we missed our pretend goal by 14 cents but we missed our actual goal by kind of a lot like 640 some dollars so that'll give us something to tackle in the next video sorry for the confusion i'm <laughs> i don't know what to say thank you for watching the best we'll catch you on the next one